Eye on MPI brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit this week. It's CUI Devices. Lady Ada, what is this week's new product introduction? Mm, this week's IMPI is uh, one of my favorite things. It's a USB PD power brick from CUI. Um, all right, so you go to the next, sorry, next image. Yeah. Um, so what it looks like, it's basically a, your kind of standard desktop power brick. This is a 30 watt power supply. It's got a USB-C cable on it. And it's a multi-voltage USB PD power supply that you can um, you can see you can change the power plug to be uh, you know US or UK or, or EU. And um, what I like about this series is the SDI uh, 30CUT series is um, basically this allows you to have a very high quality, um, low quiescent current, very efficient. Uh, power supply that you can use for your products. It matches a lot of safety standards. It's UL, it's FCC, it's CE, all the safety and compliance you want. And um, the best part is because it's USB PD, sorry, USB type C PD, power delivery, uh, you can use this one power plug for a vast number of projects and products that you may sell. Um, so if you see um, down here, uh, sorry, in, in, uh, this is the data, the data sheet. So can you uh, expand? Yeah, because I can do the text. Yeah. Um, so you can see at the bottom there, it says the um, output voltages. Um, for example, 5 volts, you can get 3 amps, 9 volts, 3 amps, 15 volts, uh, 12 amps, and 20 volts, 1.5 amps. So basically, you know, 30 watts maximum. To get the maximum voltage, of course, you have to go to 15 or 20 uh, volts. You can't get that at 5 volts because USB-C doesn't really like to give you more than 3 amps, uh, no matter what the voltage. Um, but the power supply will automatically select the correct voltage um, based on the USB-C device that it's plugged into. And I think that this is uh, handy because this is a nice upgrade to um, what we've been using for the last like 20, 30, 50 years, uh, which is 5.5 uh, millimeter slash 2.1 millimeter DC jacks. Um, you have these, you know, I'm sure you have tons of these types of power adapters. At home, they look like this. They're called wall warts because they're a little bit warty. Um, you plug them in and you get that 2.1 slash 5.5 millimeter jack on the end. But the thing that's really annoying is every power adapter is slightly different. So like this one, for example, is 9 volt, 1 amp. But you have to look on the label. Um, some are going to be 5 volts, 2 amps. Some are going to be 20 volts, half an amp. I mean, they can be any voltage, you know, almost any current limiting um, amount. And uh, some are, you know, AC only, some are DC output, some are positive tip, some are negative tip. It, you know, there's one connector, but it's used for like, you know, a variety of different voltages and current uh, capabilities. So, you know, one solution is, um, well, you can have one of these ad adjustable adapters where you can dial in uh, voltages. This is like, I think a three to 12 volt adapter. And you can see it's got that standard 5.5, 2.1 millimeter end. Um, here's one from another company where you, you can select different voltages and different tips. Um, almost everybody has one of these and then you immediately lose the tips and um, you're really annoyed because it's the one you wanted. So and basically everybody has a gigantic pile of power supplies um, for all of the things in your house and you can never throw anything away because that's the one power supply you need. Um, you know, because you need like some weird voltage, like three volts at five amps for your battery charger or something. Uh, so, you know, a couple years ago, maybe 10, 15 years ago, uh, a lot of companies, especially companies making small gadgets and electronic devices were like, uh, we can't take it anymore. Uh, first off, the DC jack is a huge connector. Second, you never know what you're going to get. And the risk is very high that people are going to plug in the wrong kind of adapter. So let's go with um, USB because USB is five volts, five watts, one amp, maybe two amps. So you can get 10 watts if you, if you don't mind having a thick cable. Um, so here's a CUI devices power adapter. Um, it's nice and svelte. It's got this like oval shape, very uh, nifty looking. You plug USB in and then you can use this to charge. I mean, this is really popularized by mobile phones. You know, everybody has this mobile phone or you know, um, mobile music player or GPS or watch or whatever um, electronic device um, that you charge over USB or micro USB. Um, so you can get these with, you know, this is a version of the adapter that has the micro USB plug in it. You have a Raspberry Pi computer, you're well aware that this is how you power your Raspberry Pi or basically, or, you know, Arduino, whatever. Very, very common. And this works wonderfully as long as what you're powering is 
five volts and no more than 10 watts. Um, so stuff that's powered off of a lithium ion battery is great because lithium ion batteries are 3.7 volts, you know, 4.2 volts. You can power them and charge them from five. You're good to go. But the thing is, is that this doesn't solve the problem for larger devices in the house. And that's where, uh, you know, people basically said, look, we cannot, you know, if you have a tablet, your 10 watts is actually not really enough to charge or run a tablet or a laptop. So uh, the USB implementation forum came up with the idea of power delivery, which you know, you're starting to see in a bunch of devices. Uh, basically, um, you can get up to 100 or even 200 watts of power, different voltages, and it's one plug, but the client device, not the power supply, but the power sink, negotiates, it tells the supply what, how much power, how much current, how much voltage it needs, uh, and then the power uh, delivery device does its best. Uh, so you can see here, for example, it's like, you know, USB 2 really was supposed to be two and a half watts, but really people used it at like, you know, five watts. Um, and then uh, USB type C, you know, you can get up to five volts, three amps, you know, with 1.2. And then PD, which is very common now, almost everything is USB PD, uh, 100 watts is easy and multiple different voltages which is great if you have devices that have uh, 8.4 volts battery packs, so you need nine or 12 volts to charge them, or it's a laptop or it's a monitor, something like really needs a you know, huge backlight or a lot of power, it needs, or it's a pump or something, it needs uh, you know, up to 100 watts of power, you can get that uh, over USB-C. Um, one thing to note, this is from the CUI blog, by the way, uh, check out the blog, they have a great, uh, in the text version of this, um, there's a, a great a blog post about uh, USB PD. Um, you cannot, I, 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 this is kind of obvious, but I didn't realize it. Depending on the wattage you need, you're going to have to go with a, a voltage that will provide up to that much current because you're really best off not trying to draw more than three amps over a USB type C cable. Uh, there are fancy cables that can do five amps, but people don't always have the fancy cable. So really do three amps, which means that, you know, as you reach, 30 watts, you can't use five volts anymore. You have to use like 15 or maybe the higher end of nine. So like, just be aware, right? Like the, you know, if you can't get more than three amps, if you need 60 watts, you need 20 volts to do that. Um, and if you get into the higher voltages, you need these thick cables for USB-C that can carry uh, five amps. But that said, you can, in this power adapter doesn't do more than 30 watts anyways, but if you get one of those 100 watt power supplies. Um, one thing I recommend, and I'll, the, I'm going to show the demo with, is um, we, we stock in DigiKey stocks this little like USB like power throwing star. Um, it's really great because it'll tell you whether the voltage was what voltage was negotiated over uh, USB PD. It's great for testing um, because not every you know every device has some you know you, as you design your device and you have the USB PD sync, you want to make sure that it works properly based on what power supplies plugged into because now, you know, if you're going to be using a power supply like this, people might plug it into their computer that cannot provide 12 volts or 20 volts. It can only provide five. Your device just has to let people know, hey, I'm not in charge mode. I'm, you know, in low power mode because I'm not getting the full amount or basically somehow communicate. Um, but to debug it, I recommend one of these little adapters. I use them every day. Um, and we also have an excellent guide uh, that uh, one of our um, staff creative uh, engineer R&D people wrote up all about USB-C. This graphic uh, is also by a graphic designer. Uh, check it out. It's on the learning system, uh, learn.afruit.com. Just search for USB type C. And then let me show off um, the overhead um, this yeah. demo. So, okay. Here is the CUI devices. So. The thing to note with USB PD is what you want to look at is the output. So, you know, again, with uh, USB, non-USB PD power supplies, it's going to say like 5 volt 3 amps or 9 volt 1 amp. With this, it actually shows multiple voltages. And compare this to earlier power supplies where you'd actually have like, you'd sometimes get weirdo connectors with like four pins because you'd get like 5 volts and 12 volts. This one provides only one voltage, but it can provide any of these. So you don't get like... 20 volts at one and a half amps plus five volts at three amps. You have to choose one or the other. Um, and the way you choose is again, there's this USB-C cable on the end. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of a, uh, I did a little bit of a hack because it's like, I wanted to plug in different things. Um, so for example, 
let's say I plug in, you know, and this is my, my USB throwing star. So this is the into the adapter and this is going to um, just visualize what the voltage is that it's getting. Uh, so this is plugging into a Cutie Pie, which requires only five volts. So you can see the voltage, the V plus here is 5.05. .05, so it negotiated five volts. Uh, that's great. And then what I wanted to do is I wanted to plug in from last week. I showed off these uh, funky cables that can give you that they have a PD sync chip inside of them um, that will uh, request 20 volts from it. And so I have a little like USB jack to jack adapter. So that's why I like got that. I just like wanted a quick adapter to convert the two. Uh, so you can plug in this cable and then I have to re plug it in. So. Um, and this time, you'll see down here on the voltage, it says 19.8, so it got 20 volts. So basically, this cable or you know, the device you plug in, this CUI adapter has to negotiate and say, hey, I want more than 5 volts. Um, use a special chip for that. There's a lot of companies that make them. They're only like a dollar or two. Um, but this way, you know, no matter what gets plugged in, it can request the right voltage. Um, and if it doesn't get it, it will know that it didn't get the right voltage. So um, I, I recommend if you're going to get this power supply to integrate it, uh, debug with this and, of course, also get a proper USB PD sync chip to go okay. along. Available on DigiKey. In stock. There's two versions. One version has a power cable that's a USA, you know, three prong, and one does not. So if you're like, why is one 25 bucks and one's 20 bucks, the $25 one has the USB cable, uh, the uh, power cable. That's I on MPI. I on MPI.